Every time you look above the ice at First Arena, you want to see the Jackals scoring mark light up big. Over the years, the Jack Attack has done that, but now it's a new look. For the first time since 2000, Elmira has a brand new scoreboard above center ice. Look at that monstrosity. This thing is state of the art and will certainly break in a new era of Jackals hockey. Replays, fan interaction, and a whole lot more video stuff going to be on it. Total cost 1.5 million bucks. It's a lot of cash. Now, Elmira didn't make the playoffs last year, but bringing some excitement back is what the future is all about, especially with this. I mean, they've invested heavily in this place, and this, this is the latest uh, investment up on the ceiling. And uh, you won't find this, this particular clock anywhere in the country. That is sweet. Speaking of hockey, the Amara College Kids Hockey Camp runs next weekend at the Domes. It'll be September 7th through the 11th with two groups, ages 10 and under, from 5 to 6.15 p.m. And Group B, ages 11 and up, from 6.30 to 7.45 p.m. Cost is $175 per camper. And you can learn from the ECAC West Champs, the defending champs. For more information, visit athletics.almira.edu and click on Men's Hockey. Well, 2013 was a year Cornell basketball would love to forget. The Big Red, they were 2-26. and 26. Not good. But another year is upon us. Head coach Bill Courtney returns to Cornell as the Big Red open up their season on the road at George Mason November 14th. The 30-game schedule is highlighted by a New Year's Eve bash at the Carrier Dome in Syracuse. Now, this is going to be tough as well. Cornell plays 10 games versus opponents with 20 or more wins a season ago.